Hey yo, Henny got me lit though. All right, I'm back, and I had to put on the drip because I think that y'all would hear me a little bit louder if I did. Um, Jalen Brown is correct, Celtics fans. Now that you had a moment to let that sink in, let's dive into it. Jalen Brown, you're absolutely correct. There's a small portion of our fan base that seems to tribute you having a bad game to, to the way you're fighting for the things that you fight for off court. Absolutely true. I believe that. I've been a Celtics fan 23 years now. I've seen athletes come and go. I've seen basketball players come and go. There's been very few like Jalen Brown in a green uniform since Bill Russell. Now that you've had a moment to let that sink in, you're right. Sometimes it does seem like there's a small percentage of the fan base that doesn't grant you the grace to have one bad game and attributes that to maybe what you're fighting for off the court. And it's absolutely ridiculous. Celtics fans, we have a responsibility here. Jalen said that that was a small percentage. We have a duty as a fan base to support him and make him feel heard, number one. But also, we need to be three times, four times, five times, ten times as loud as any other voice that's coming out of our fan base. We support our players and we love them. And I know to some people it's like, it's just basketball, it's just basketball. But there's actually a relationship that's there between the players and the fans. And we absolutely appreciate them, especially here in Boston. We love our players that play hard for us. And we want to support players. And we want to let them be themselves, especially when they're not harming anybody else or preaching harm against anybody. I mean, it's literally in one of my songs. I literally said, Jalen Brown trailing now, catching a pass for Marcus for the three and my fist in the air at the post-game conference. Jalen, from me to you, I love you. Continue to be yourself and continue to speak the truth, God. We need more of that. We need that to be a constant. And you brought it to us. I've been happy since the day the Celtics drafted you because I knew that's something that you were going to bring to us. It's something that I craved. That level of righteousness and knowledge, brother. Peace be with you, God. But that said, Celtics fans, we have that responsibility to be 10 times louder than any other voice in our fan base. He said that that was a small percentage. The big percentage of us, we have to stand up and we have to absolutely advocate on his behalf. And we have to continue to advocate on our behalf because we're a way larger in majority than that small fan base. But he can hear them just as loud as he can hear us. There's something to be said there. We need to step up. I'm so happy that this is something that he said. I know that this could be looked at as a negative, but Celtics fans, he spoke up because he knew that we would respond. Let's not be dumb and focus on the fact that he said it was a small percentage and let's focus on the fact that he knows that there's a large percentage of us that love and love every other player on that team. And we wanna to continue to support them for being them in ways that they're not preaching harm against other people, so let's love. It's that simple. This shouldn't be looked at as a complete negative. This is an opportunity for us, the majority of the fan base, to stand up and make noise in the right way. You know what it do, Celtics fans, stay true.